hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing my july wrap up sorry um i had a pretty good reading month um and i wanted to tell you guys because i did i don't think i did a june wrap up i did actually read in june i read clockwork princess which was um 567 pages in June, but that's all I read. Okay, back to July. Um, thanks to the reading rush, I actually did get quite a bit read. Um, I'll talk about the first couple books that I read during the reading rush. I read Mr. Flood's Last Resort. Um, sorry if you see me looking down, I have all my like stats right here. Um, so I read this book, I gave this book three stars, and it was 352 pages. Um, now, three stars, I know that you're like, nah, well, um, it was really good. It just wasn't something that I'm used to reading. It was literary fiction. I don't read a lot of it, and it was also a mystery. Um, and there were several mysteries within the mystery, so not really my style of book, so... Maybe that's why I got a three stars, but it was really good. I love the language in this book, um, and I loved the um, aspect of the saints in this book, and I loved the Ireland setting. Um, and, you know, if I reread this, uh, you know, kind of, you know, maybe I would give it higher. Um, but we'll see if I reread it and, you know, what I think. But I definitely am going to pick up more of Jess Kidd's books because, from what I understand, most of them are set in Ireland. And I love Ireland. If you know me, you know I love Ireland. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. Next, I read Dracula. And this is the version that I read, the graphic novel. Um... And I really enjoyed this. Uh, I gave this four stars. And this was 160 pages. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, I definitely want to pick up the actual book of Dracula. Need to get a copy of that because I want to see if I enjoy it as much. Um, or if there's more details. Because obviously with the graphic novel it's a bit condensed. Um, so, I'm curious to see what I think of the actual novel. So, I may very well pick that up and see how I feel about that. Next, I read The Forbidden Wish. Um, and I'll kind of hold that where you guys can see her name. I know it's Jessica. I, do, I don't know how to say her last name and I don't want to mess it up. But, I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I gave it... I gave it three um five stars sorry i gave this book five stars it was 352 pages i loved this book if you are a fan of aladdin um or anything aladdin like or anything with genies in it um you would really enjoy this book um this was an amazing like spin or twist on the original um aladdin and I love this book. I just cannot say enough good things about it. I highly recommend this book, especially if you like Aladdin. Um, I loved how it was written. It was beautifully written. Um, and I just, I don't know. I can't say enough good stuff about it. It was, it was just amazing. So, I highly recommend this book. Um, I definitely want to look and see what else she's written. I did, um read the genie which is like um just a small little it's like 11 pages um i did read that as well um i didn't calculate that into this because um it's not like an actual book it's just 11 pages um but it was really really good and i definitely recommend that if you enjoy this um then during that readathon i also read on f yourself um and I gave that one five stars as well. That was 221 pages. I don't have a copy of it. I did do the audiobook for that. Um, but I like to track things in pages. Um, it was so good. Um, if you guys need a motivational book, I'd highly recommend that book. Um, it was just so good. And a lot of the stuff in there he's saying is stuff that 
you don't really necessarily think about all the time or apply to your life all the time. It's just so good. It's such great advice. I'm definitely going to check out the rest of his books as well. Um, and I believe his name is Gary John Bishop. I don't have it in front of me, but definitely recommend his stuff. Um, then I also read Warm Bodies by Isaac Martin, I believe it is, or something like that. I can't read that. Um, this is the, I have a, another one over there with the original copy, but this is like the movie um, cover right here. Um, I love this book. I gave it five stars. It's, um, it's 256 pages. You see a lot of five star books. <laughs> I had a lot this month, um, which I'm thankful for, but I highly enjoyed this. Um, if you have not read this, but you have seen the movie, I highly recommend you read the book because there's just so much more detail in this than there is in the movie. Um, I enjoyed the book way more than I enjoyed the movie. Um, and I mean, sometimes that's the case, but it's not always the case, you know. But with this, I definitely did. Um, I love that there's these, like, sketches in the books. And it's, like, actual, like, body parts. And I just love the anatomy that's in this book. Um, the way things are described. Um, I just love it. Is so so good I highly recommend it I'm definitely gonna pick up the other books that go along with this one um I think there's two more could be wrong there may be more than two but I'm excited to get into them uh, I'm curious where they go if they're before this or after this I'm not real sure but so good highly recommend um, it almost you know it almost reminds me of like Romeo and Juliet but it's uh it's with the zombies. It's way better. Way was so good. Um, not the Romeo and Juliet isn't good because of course it is. It's a classic. Um, the last thing I read was the first um, book out of this, which is Secret Vampires. I haven't read the other two. I am currently reading um, Daughters, Daughters of Darkness, but I've read the first book in this. Um, I've had these for a while and I finally wanted to get to them. Um, I started buying books that had, like, multiple books in them because I just, I used to care, like, I wanted to have all the books. I didn't want to have to put the book down, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't know. Just a weird habit, I guess, that I wanted. But it is this first chunk right here. That's how big the first book is. And then that goes into the second book. Um, I gave it this three stars. It was 242 pages. Um... It was good, um, but I don't know. I could definitely tell that it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't written, like, recently. I don't know. I think maybe I just didn't get enough out of the first story. Um, so I'm continuing on. Uh, and I may, my, the score for that may go up. Um, the second book is really good. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have much to say about it. It was good. It was about a girl who um, has cancer and her best friend happens to be a vampire. And, you know, that's what it's about. Um, but overall, I had a really good reading month. Um, I read 1,583 books. And it's crazy because... Wait, that was wrong. 1,583 pages, not books, because, you know, wow. Um, it was crazy because, honestly, I hadn't read anything up until uh, the reading rush, which took place. It started on the 20th. Um, so, from, like, the 20th to, like, the 31st, um, I read that many books, which is just crazy to me. Um but yeah, I'm thankful because it got me out of my reading slump. So, I had a pretty good reading month. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody had a good reading month. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.